Hello everyone out there. I am the Dance of Life Dancer. And tonight, I want to bring you the response I got from a pastor of the St. Paul's Lutheran Church, I'm not going to say where, to the incident that happened at the Lady of the Snows Shrine with the, the parish and the church there and the St. Matthew's United Church of Christ and all the rest of the churches that I've been at where they have thrown me out because I'm a transgender person. Before I do this, I'm going to introduce you to him. This is the pastor, St. Paul's Church, Lutheran Church. This is his helper and deacon. Yes, they're both dressed as females, as you notice. They, that's the pastor, he's dressed as a female. This is his deacon, dressed as a female. Now, I'm going to go to the incident, that the famous one, St. Paul's, I mean, St. Matthew's United Church of Christ. That's not it. And I'm going to show you this as I talk. Now, this being said, here was his response to when I told him about the incident at the St. Matthew's United Church, which is this one right here, and the incident at the Lady of the Snows. He said that, oh, if I was came in there dressed in a dress, such as I am right here, meaning him, which, uh, he was in a dress, believe it or not. Uh, so he does that too. Uh, they would, uh, they have a right to throw me out. Lesbians, they have a right to throw them out. Gays, they have a right to throw them out. In other words, what he's saying is the shrine has a right to throw me out because I'm a transgender. Or you out because you're a gay. Such as right here that's happening at the St. Matthew's United Church of Christ. The famous one. Back in 2009 that spread across the country. Okay, my friend, uh, his exact words were, if I was dressed in a dress, meaning him, the pastor of the St. Uh, Paul's Luther Church, which I showed you, his picture, then I, too, would be expected to be thrown out because of I am dressed in a female. And what he said about that, as a female, what he said about that was, I'm just a, a man dressed as a female. Meaning me. And uh, all us transgenders out there know that we, I, am not a man dressed as a female. I am a female. Not what Pastor John said. Not what the pastor said. He said, oh, I should expect to get thrown out of all these churches because Jesus don't accept me there. As you're seeing happening right here in this place right here. See the police taking me out of... That's St. Matthew's United Church of Christ, 2009. And he's saying, uh, oh, I should expect to get thrown out of there because of the, me being dressed in a dress, which is the same thing the shrine said to me. I should expect to be thrown out of there because of that, which is the same thing the St. Paul Lutheran Church said to me because of who I am. Oh, that's okay for them to throw me out there. He said he didn't see nothing wrong with that. He doesn't see nothing wrong with what's going on right here at the St. Matthew's United Church of Christ with the police showing taking me out of there. Which is the same thing that happened at the shrine, Lady of the Snows. This is the same thing. I didn't get a vi uh, I do have a video of that one, yes. But they said that I can't post that one. So I'm using the St. Matthew's United Church of Christ in St. in um, Belleville in a replacement. But anyway, Pastor of the St. Paul Lutheran Church said that, oh, that's okay, I don't see anything wrong with them throwing you out because you're, 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 in a, you're, you're a man dressed as a, a, as a female in a dress. Does anybody out there see anything wrong with that? No, I'm not my man. You know, I am Susan Stone, and that's how many thousand people out there that are transgender, gays, lesbians, know that, uh, no, we are not men dressed as female. We are females. Our mind is female. That's what these people, they say, he said, that Jesus doesn't accept you for who you are. You're an abomination. And that's what the uh, people at the shrine, well, that's what the police said the people at the shrine said. This is but the police from the St. Matthew's United Church, which they said the same thing. You catch the drift, though. And Pastor John from the St. Paul's Church said, oh, that's okay. 
uh, if you come dressed in a dress, they should throw you out. If you came to my church dressed in a dress, I would throw you out. Jesus doesn't accept you. Jesus doesn't uh, want nothing to do with you. You're an abomination because of who you are. Does this all sound familiar with, to you? You know, I'm getting sick of this, you know? This kind of stuff, this treatment. Oh, they're, they're a great uh, spoken word for God here. You know what I mean? The hypocrite who's standing there, and I showed you a picture to start with. He, the pastor, is dressed up in a dress, and he's telling us not to dress up in a dress. Uh, do you see something wrong with that there? Something wrong with that, right? Because, uh, mm, I don't know. Something wrong with that there. See, it's the police of the St. Matthew's United Church of Christ. That's the famous incident that happened back in 2009. One that spread all across the country. And he said that, uh, oh, I, that's okay for them to throw me out. That's okay for them to do this to me. That's okay for everybody to make a fool out of me and other transgenders. He says, here's what his words were. All transgenders, all uh, transsexuals should be treated the same way. Meaning they should all be thrown out of church. That's what he You know what? I didn't make this up. He said it. He said it himself. That's the reason I'm putting this on the air. This is his response to incidents like this. Or, this was the St. Matthew's United Church of Christ. The incident that happened at the uh, shrine. This is his response to this kind of stuff. And his response again was, you heard me what I said. All transgenders and tr transsexuals should be treated the same. Oh, it's okay for him to, to, to throw me out because of who I am. Uh, you know what? That's a terrific witness for God. Ah, thy, thy hypocrite preacher. Thy hypocrite. Him himself in a dress, as you've seen to begin with, telling us we shouldn't be in a dress going to church. And that's where he was, right there, in the church. Oh, all thy hypocrite. Thy name is a uh, preacher, church, Jesus, who doesn't accept us for who we are. And this is the kind of incident that happens with this. If you know what I mean. Ah, thy hypocrite. Thy name is Preacher. Anyway, that's what I have to say. And I'm just, you know what, I don't even know what to say about something like this. Because this is, I'm getting so tired of seeing people being discriminated against. People hating people. And being told that Jesus hates me. Jesus hates you because of who you are. Jesus don't want you because of who you are. Ah, thou hypocrite. Uh... They're sitting there and they got a dress on themselves. That's the, the, the pastor. He has a dress on himself. Ah, oh, where is the, the hypocrite in this? If you know what I mean. Oh, jeez. Anyway, wake up, uh, world. Because you know what? Before you can witness for God, before you can witness for God, you got to stop stuff like this. Before you can tell people about the meaning of life and the meaning of Jesus and the meaning of everything, this kind of stuff needs to stop against transgender people. From the St. Matthew's United Church of Christ, which is this one, St. Paul's, uh, all the rest of them that have thrown me out of church and other transgenders. This type of stuff needs to stop, my friends. And who's going to make it stop? You. You. I have a dream, my friends. I have a dream. And guess what that is? For this kind of stuff to stop. For hatred and discrimination, telling us we transgenders are abomination. Oh, we're treated. Does this ring a bell? Black people back 75 years ago used to be treated this way, the same way. This kind of stuff needs to come to a stop. This hatred needs to come to an end, if you know what I mean. Because I just don't understand. I really don't understand the meaning of this kind of stuff. Because here he is, right here. Pastor, he's dressed in a dress. Do you see a little, little, little problem with this? All you people out there. This is okay for him and his uh, what he, deacon. But uh, he's telling us. Out of hypocrite. Thy name is pastor. That we can't. We should be thrown out of church because of who we are. I want your opinions on this my friends out there. Because this type of stuff needs to come to a stop. I have a dream, my friends, and that's everybody being treated the same. I love everybody. Jesus don't love me. Hey, I love you, Jesus. I love you people out there, and you need to take a stand against this type of stuff. 
And that's my words I got for you out there, my friends. This type of stuff needs to come to an end. This hatred, this discrimination, because our country is going down the tubes because of this type of stuff right here. That's all I've got to say to you tonight, my friends. Because if this type of stuff doesn't stop, our country is out of the wind, if you know what I'm talking about. That's all I have to say for myself tonight here, my friend. You need to stand up. You need to rally these places. You need to stop this type of stuff from happening. Because it's getting monotonous. I've been all I've been doing is every week I have to put up videos on this kind of this kind of stuff. And I want to put up videos about good stuff. But if I don't put this kind of stuff up, it ain't never gonna stop. And it's up to you out there. You to stop this type of stuff. Thank you for joining me. Good night.